<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Jumping right into it here with the Cogrita. This comes to us from Watofo Official. Watofo, Suck My Mod, designed by Watofo and Suck My Mod. Heard a lot of mixed things about this. Hear people calling this a little bit gimmicky. I think I'll be the judge of that. And I know it's the Cog RTA, but when it's all jammed together like that, it just looks like Cogrita to me. And I think that's funny. This is the gun metal, but before we get to that, what else do we get here in the package? A tool. Phillips head screwdriver. Looks like some cotton. Looks like some coils as well. It's going to be a 0.8 single coil. 0.12 single coil. Spare grommets and o-rings and screws. That's nice. Cogrita. Sure. We, we don't need that. Let's just jump into this. The cog mouth to lung RTA made from food grade materials, but can't withstand high temperature wash with cold water only. Good to know. Also, if you want to clean the inside, follow the picture to loosen the screw and clean your clean your cog thoroughly. Oh, you're not going to worry about cleaning it right now. I'm worried about building it and vaping it right now. But today I'm going to be putting one of these coil turd mouth to lung 0.75 fuse Clapton's in there. I think the SQ mono is going to be a great home for this Cogrita. Yeah, dude, that's going to be rad. So there it is, Cogrita. And I know that it has an adjustable AFC. And this is what uh, this is what some people were saying was gimmicky because the bottom is clear. So when you're adjusting your AFC, you can see how the mechanism on the inside works. What that mechanism is doing, it's not just closing off the airflow on the outside. It's adjusting the airflow on the inside as well, kind of right where it hits your coil, which is honestly for a mouth to lung RTA, that's the best spot to adjust the AFC. See if we can get a better look at this. I'm assuming all that action is happening underneath this pin. There's a little arrow right there that's gonna line up with little notches. There's a setting, it clicks into place, clicks into place, clicks into place. Looks like, I mean, honestly, fairly standard, like two post clamp design clicks into place. As with most mouth to lung RTAs, you're gonna need to have your coil leads going off in opposite directions, but thankfully, yeah, that's what Beecher does. Spring loaded clamps right there, that's great. Decks like this, it's usually pretty effortless to just drop your coils in here and kind of throw them in at an angle and then straighten it out and it'll fall right into those notches, or notches, it'll fall right under the clamps. Oh yeah, totally effortless. Just gonna tighten these down very, very loosely. Just want it to hold the lead. I wanna be able to move it around. Probably gonna end up pushing that down a little bit too. I want it closer to the airflow. Yeah, something like that. Just push it a little bit down closer to that airflow. Clip your leads flush. Obviously clip both of your leads. This coil came out to a 0.76. I've got it sitting at a whopping 10 watts. Yeah. And it's glowing nice and evenly. These look like some pretty generous sized wick holes. I'm not a person that has ever thinned out my wicks, although on, on rare occasions, I guess I have. I'm not sure I need to do that with this RTA. I might thin them out a little bit just to be on the safe side, but ideally what you wanna do is cut your wick so that the very bottom of them are just touching the bottom of this wick hole right here, that wick catch cup, as it were. I sh I'm sure that I want this to be snug, but not so snug that it's gonna like mess with my coil placement. You know, you give it like the rough measure right there, looks good. It's always okay to leave leave them a little bit long because you can always cut cotton off, but you can't always add it back. Actually, you can never add it back unless you re-wick. Hi, Captain Obvious. Just a little bit of wick thinning going on. This is about the amount of cotton that I pulled off of them. I feel like that's looking pretty freaking good right there. I just did the lift and press technique. I've, I've tried to show it off a couple of times. It's just a hard thing to show on video, but that's what I did here. Vapors! So I guess like the base comes completely apart, the chimney does come completely apart. It looks like there's like a little set screw in there. If you took that out, I'm sure you could take this all the way completely out for cleaning and things. And as you saw, it is a top fill. It is a full like threaded top cap though, which eh, kind of bums me out a little bit. I much prefer the one lock, you know, one twist and it'll unlock and then one twist and it'll lock back down. When you do threading like this, it sometimes can create a lot of suction inside the tank and end up flooding your deck. I'm sure this is something that they've thought about, but it's just something that I think about. Dorky little conical drip tip right there, looking good. Nice. So let's put this on here. Bleh. 
we can screw this back down. Yeah, all right, no, no, not too bad. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, honestly. I mean, otherwise, this is a pretty rockin' looking RTA. I'm interested to see where all my liquid went, and hopefully it's not just flooding the inside of that chamber right now. Well, dang, there's the Cogrita. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's really vape this and see what the fuss is all about. And see, this is what always happens whenever I thin out my wicks. If I dump this over, you might even see some liquid coming out of there. It just floods like crazy. This is why I never understand why people thin out their wicks. I should not have even attempted that. So now we get to re-wick this, like right away, like right now, because it's basically unvapable. Rad. Son of a bitch. So round two. So hey, here's another thing that happened is when it flooded, I got e-liquid all, all down in there all down in the cogs. And the only reason I noticed is because such I use such a dark e-liquid in there, I can see it. And so if I really want to clean this, now I have to take my build out and I have to take the whole damn thing apart. So I'm just going to say fuck it and leave that e-liquid down there because I do not feel like taking this entire cog apart just to clean out a few little droplets of e-liquid. Sorry, man, that sucks. All right, so let's give this another try. This time, no thinning of the wicks. Pack those holes with cotton. I would much rather have an RTA that is feels like it's going dry than one that's flooding and leaking everywhere. And I mean, fuck, ideally, I'd like to have neither of those things happening. Attempt number two. Vapors. Bleh. All right, well, I've given it a few inaugural toots, and the wicking seems to be holding up just fine this time, so now, now we can get back out to normal view and talk about it. Cogra, looking good on the SQ Mono. Here's a pro tip right out of the gate. As you saw, please do not thin your wicks on this RTA even a little bit. Going back and watching Matt's video, I'm, I'm shocked at his wicking that it didn't just flood all over him. I barely thinned out my wicks and it just became the, the most slurpy, gurgly, constantly leaking RTA I've ever experienced. But with that said, the 0.7 coil turd coil in here is nice and crackly and it's wicking like a champion now. 13 watts. R really nice, very nice vape. Really nice flavor, really nice airflow. Now, the airflow, it's good but it's weird. On the most open setting, the 1.6 millimeter airflow hole, it's a nice like open mouth to lung. It's just a little bit airy, but it's still very much a mouth to lung. Don't approach this RTA thinking that you're gonna get any sort of restricted lung kind of airflow from it, because that's just not the case. Every airflow is specific for mouth to lung. And on the highest tightness, the 0.8 millimeter airflow, it's substantially, substantially tighter. As far as all of the spots in between, uh, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a lot of difference between each individual setting. You can tell a big difference between the 1.6 millimeter and the 0.8 millimeter, but everything in between, it kind of just feels the same. I, I don't know, the difference between a 1.6 and a 1.4 millimeter airflow hole, I would challenge you to find the difference. I will say the 0.8 is real nice, very tight for anybody looking, talking with vapor in my mouth. For anybody that's been looking for an RTA that delivers a nice tight airflow, the 0.8 millimeter on the cog, real nice. Could be exactly what you're looking for. A lot of people are gonna be put off by the plastic tank on this. I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. I've been using the K-Fun with the crystal cap and it's a plastic tank and, and it doesn't really bother me. Additionally, this plastic tank lets you fill it from the top, which is great. As a mouth to lung guy, I'm very much enjoying this RTA. Now, as far as vape budget hands go, you're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Cogrita. Not really, clicking around the internet, you can usually find it for about 34, 35 bucks, so no real vape budget hands needed. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Cogrita something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? Here's the thing. Fucking maybe. I definitely like this Cogrita more than I like a lot of other mouth-to-lung tanks that have come out onto the market recently. I like it more than that Reload Vapor mouth-to-lung. I like it more than that Precisio mouth-to-lung. Haven't got to try the Aries 2 yet, but apart from the awful flooding and gurgling I got the first time I built and wicked it, this has held up 
awesome. I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm a mouth to lung guy. Matt does a lot of mouth to lung, so I'm not surprised that this vapes real well. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but it is what it is. It's the Cogrita. I know, it's the Cog RTA, but I'll probably never stop saying Cogrita. Remember that no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, you guys, let's keep on vaping. I definitely like this Cogrita more than I've liked a lot of mother, a lot of mother?